In this video, I'm going to show you how I added a front shifter to the down tube of my bike. I bought this bike because it had a one by drivetrain. I really liked the simplicity of it all and the minimalist handlebars. But after installing a granny gear and manually shifting by lifting the chain over, I decided to finally add a front derailleur. For those of you that get satisfaction out of peeling the protective film off a new device, it's even more satisfying cutting a half inch thick piece of plastic without damaging the protective film underneath. These two brackets are going to connect to the down tube of my bike using the water bottle mounts. So I'm just drilling a hole here for the water bottle mount bolt. I have a short piece of tubing that I'll use to attach the handlebar shifter to these two mounts. I'm using a thin kerf blade to cut a slot into these brackets so that they can clamp onto the tube. Just doing some deburring and cleaning up of the slot. Here I'm doing a dry fit just to see if the curvature of my clamp matches the down tube. I also cut a slot to clear the rib nut. To add a little reinforcement, I added some double sided tape. This also helps the bracket conform to the down tube. Having a wider base bonded to the down tube helps take some of the bending load off of the bolts. Everything is going together pretty smoothly. I'm using the Shimano Dior 11 speed shifter and derailleur, and I'm using the Race Face turbine chain rings, a 34 and a 24 tooth. The crank arms I'm using are IXF, and they have the 64 millimeter and the 104 millimeter bolt circle. Using the lowest gears, the 24 chain ring in the front and the 51 tooth cassette in the back. I'm achieving about 13 gear inches, so that's 13 inches of travel for every revolution of the crank. With my cycling cadence of 75 RPM, I can do about 2 miles per hour in the lowest gear. I can downshift by pushing down on the lever or pulling up on the lever. Either method works. The front chain ring is so low that I don't anticipate using it very often, so I'd rather have the shifter on the down tube where it's out of the way rather than have it clutter up my handlebars. This is what the shifter looks like from the other side. Just enough room to have a little clearance from my triangle bag. I used this pattern tracing tool to record the contour of the down tube, and I was able to trace that on my laptop. For those unfamiliar, this program is called Carbide Create, and this is what Shapoko uses to generate G code that runs their CNC machines. The software is free if you want to try it out, and the CNC routers are pretty inexpensive. Well, the irony of going from a 1x back to a 2x isn't lost on me. But at least with the shifter down on the down tube, I have a clutter-free handlebars. And if I do need that lower gear, it's there. If you like this mount and want to build your own, I'll post a link to download my CNC file. It'll fit a specialized Cirrus X and possibly other specialized bikes. And thanks again for watching.